Now, after the afternoon uh, snacks, the afternoon happy time, we are going to talk about dinner. One important thing that we spoke already is that in Ayurveda, the dinner is not an important meal in a sense that the person was all the day long busy with their work and not paying attention to the uh, food necessities and when he arrives at home finally he thinks oh I need to eat what I'm going to eat pizza <laughs> and uh, there is go there one pizza with soft drinks and uh, television and uh, then he says oh I'm so tired about life what is happening to me <laughs> <laughs> the Homer Simpson syndrome is one thing that you can and must avoid for your health according to Ayurveda tenets. It's not that if you eat some pizza one day in your life at night you're going to be with your health completely spoiled. It's not the point. The point is that in Ayurveda if you have paid proper attention to your breakfast, to your lunch, to your afternoon uh, meal, probably in the night you are not going to be very very hungry. Maybe you even will not need to eat. This is not a crime. <laughs> but uh, if you, after your, your work, go to the gym and then you feel hungry, you just took the Ayurvedic afternoon meal that it was not very substantial so you were not with a lot of food in your belly okay, this is important information in Ayurveda there is no point of uh, taking a lot of foods that are very proteic to, proteic to go to the gym In Brazil, I believe that it's not only in Brazil, there is this um, gymnastic culture of having a lot of uh, muscles and eating a lot of protein. They don't eat any more food, <laughs> they eat protein. <laughs> uh, going to the uh, gym. Because in Ayurveda, if your belly, if your digestive process is going on, there is not going to be a lot of energy for your muscles, okay? In Ayurveda you can eat a carbohydrate thing like honey after, before you go to the uh, sports. You don't need to go weak to the, uh, to the physical exercise, but you shouldn't go with a lot of proteins in your belly, because in Ayurveda these are two complete opposite systems. When you are eating, you are not going to be running. And when you are running, your digestive system is not going to be working. You can say, oh, people when they are running, they drink like coconut water or some uh, things that are electrolytes and this kind of stuff. Okay, they drink. But the point is that for a digestive system to work, it should be seated as a general rule and after the meal is finished there should be no strenuous physical activity during the first 30 minutes or one hour after you eat if it's just a fruit okay if it's just a juice okay but the point is that when you are doing the physical exercise the food should not be talking with you again in your mouth just like you're burping because these are going to make your uh, digestive system a little bit lost what he needs to do he needs to be seated and uh, digesting the food or he needs to be running without food okay so if you think that uh, oh I can go to the gym and I'm very digestive and my digestive power is very strong in this, this kind of thought probably when you are a little bit uh, more years old 
this is not going to be so clear and so certain for you. Don't spoil your, your future digestive capacity, okay? So, if you in the afternoon eat something that is light and go to the gym because you cannot go in the morning for this and for that reason, okay, uh, in the dinner time probably you're going to need to eat a little bit more. If you don't do physical exercise in the afternoon, you do mainly in the morning, probably in the dinner you're not going to need a very strong and heavy dinner. You should not sleep hungry. You should not sleep while you're feeling your digestive system, your belly heavy or full. But uh, in the middle of these things, it's okay to dinner. Simple dinner, easy to digest dinner. If it's hot, it can be fruits or it can be a light sandwich meal. But please see if you can digest meat at night. Even tuna, even things that are not actually perceived as meat, they're still meat. Eggs are not so problematic to eat at night, but not five eggs every night, okay? Um, in Ayurveda, soups, if it's cold, it's a good su suggestion. Soups of beans are very good for people that need to eat, but they don't want to gain weight with things that are more greenish. It also can be mushroom, there is no problem with that. People that don't want to lose weight <laughs> and actually want to gain weight should eat some uh, roots and maybe some root some root soups and maybe some root soups with vegetables, greenish vegetables. The point of the greenish vegetables is that it helps that the digestion are co is completed uh, correctly. As we uh, talked before in the wind and the uh, space, in the bitter and the astringent um, tastes, they should end the meal, but when the meal is more simple, like only two um, components, only two principles, it can be cooked together and it can be eaten together. That separation from um, roots in the earth part of the meal uh, and also um, pumpkins, the separation from the second group of grains that are sprout from grasses like rice and stuff, the water element, and the fire element with meat, beans, mushrooms, eggs and also, and uh, the wind element of uh, greenish stuff. This division works mainly at the lunch because it should be the main meal of the day. In the night, if the person wants to gain weight or not to lose weight, it should be one of the group, of the root group, the earth group, some potatoes, some pumpkins, any kind of uh, potato that is available for you. Of course, there is going to be spe specifications later according to your body type and the, the unbalance that you're currently maybe going on. And one greenish stuff and also, if you want to maintain your weight and uh, you don't have sleep problems, you don't wake up during the night, then it can be some beans cooked in that manner without gases with cumin, turmeric, uh, asafoetida, and uh, what is the name of the other one? I forgot now. Um, this preparation uh, it's better to have people that usually don't have, have any kind of insomnia and also it, you can add some chutney with it because it's going to make the digestion lighter. In the night 
if you feel that it's not uh, advisable to eat a full meal, you can take some um, milk. Now here it's more specific, the recommendations. We are going to speak about milk in the following video. But the point is that for some people, animal milk, milk or vegetable milk, it can be a very interesting option to eat light during the night and not feel hungry in the middle of the night. There are a lot of things that need to be considered and there are a lot of uh, exceptions that are going to be made of what I'm saying here. Because I need to know your case specifically and the current conditions that you are passing through and living. Okay? Please always remember that these videos are going to support the consultations, the online uh, uh, counseling. It's not intended to give you full information how to handle your health uh, without any proper uh, counseling. This uh, series should work along with my Namaste coaching in Ayurveda, Yoga and Jyotish. But it also is very supportive for people that also know a little bit of Ayurveda and is looking for more information in the internet. If you want to have your proper consultations and counseling, please contact me at namaste.tiago at gmail.com and I will be glad to talk to you more specifically, okay? And also please share, comment and like it and whatever this video if you want. Thanks for your attention again. See you in the next video. Namaste.